Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 21 of Direwolf20 and Pahimar's Agrarian Sky series. Mr. Pahimar, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. How are you, Mr. Direwolf? Hey, uh, I just found out because you just told me we just passed how much cobble we need for the cobble collection quest. Let's see, 43,046,721 is how much we need, and we have more than that. Yeah. Shall we? Shall we do it? I just clicked the button. Auto crafting has commenced. In theory. Yep, there it goes. It's going. Oh, uh, so goodness. we'll be back in like three hours when this thing's done crafting. <laughs> Is that pretty much what it's going to be? <laughs> Maybe four hours? Well, this shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad now. I wonder if this would be faster if, if we did it. And it would be very tedious. Ah, uh, we'll let it run while the episode's going. Yeah, I mean we don't we don't need to hurry. Uh, but I I did while I was waiting for you to get online because you're really slow. I did go ahead and do some things. What things did you do? Oh, all kinds of things. I'm ready to hand in a few quests if you like. Sounds good. Do you see what I have in my hand? That looks like a brain in a jar. Brain in a jar. It is, sir. So as a result, we are ready to do the Brains quest. Uh, let's uh, see. Green heart container or reward bag? Oh, you get all three. Oh, okay. Here's something I could have used like a thousand years ago. Two autonomous activators. <laughs> Did I just throw you my heart? Yeah, and I, I just took it and put it on. Oh, I was trying to put it in mine. I want it back. Oh, that's unfortunate for you. Ouch. I figured I would take it because I'm going to be doing all the blood magic. I need all the health I can get for that. I got lettuce. Oh. Well, that's almost better than what I got. Um, I'm going to do work on blood alchemy this episode. I know that for sure. Um, but I also, under For the Hoarding, I collected enough uh, clouds. I went up flying because I have a flying harness now. Imagine that. Imagine that. Yeah, so I just uh, submitted that guy too. And I got um, a bunch of different seeds. So that might help you, actually. I got a book. I got a book. With Unbreaking I got a Three. Ton of different three. Seeds. With which one? Unbreaking Three. If you check in the um, AE system, I just put a ton of seeds in there. So I don't know if you want them or not, if it helps, but. No, I think we should be pretty good, actually, while uh, you uh, were. No, like all they're met. new. New There's seeds that we didn't already have, I think. Well, I don't know. There's like beans and zucchini and broccoli and spice leaf and turnip and tea and Brussels and all this other stuff. Well, if you come up here, you can see something I've I've done in the, between episodes while you were being a bum. Yeah. Yeah. Check out this Ooh, little guy. Crops. Look at that. Soybean and spice leaf. Nice. Yeah, because yep. we are gonna need some of these guys for some of the hell's kitchens. I see you also replaced my um, amaranth wood with amaranth saplings instead of slimy saplings over here. Was that not working? No, I took the uh, I took the axe to let it recharge a bit. I've been babysitting this a bit too, just to make sure the axe okay. is break down all the way. Yeah, it might, but I mean, like we can make another one if we really need to at this point. But I'm half tempted to actually um, throw it into the auto disenchanter to get the enchants off of it. Those are some pretty nice enchants. Yeah. Do you think it'd be that easy to make a new axe at the stream? Um. Yeah. Just make sure it's fully repaired before you throw it in the auto disenchanter, because it'll damage it, but it shouldn't destroy it if it's fully repaired. Okay. okay. Um. Well. I mean, like, I don't want to have to make a new one if we don't have to, but I will if we do. Yeah, but having the enchants would be nice. We don't have these Thawncraft enchants. Uh True. So let's see what else. Uh, so yeah, we got bean. Uh, sorry, we got soybeans, and we got spice leaf growing there. Uh, what else is nice. done? I moved a couple aura nodes, by the way. So I'm starting my aura node setup down here. Ooh, I can see them glowing ghostly. I should probably get myself some of those goggles. Yeah, they're nice to have. Well, sure um, so I did do a little bit of infusion seen. crafting. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Didn't I do something else? I was. We almost have enough dirt. We do have enough cobble. What else was I looking at? Um, oh, you know what I did? I threw um, a slime spawner in the um, mob spawner up there. Could you make me a pair of goggles of revealing? Because I don't have the research. Yeah, I sure can. And sorry, I wasn't listening at all to what you just told me. 
I did the thing with the stuff. Yes. Slime spawner. Oh. You turned it back on? Yeah. Turned it back on? Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm spawning slimes now. Yeah, you were spawning slimes before. No, green slimes. Ah, green slimes. You might like it then if I actually hook it up to the mob essence, huh? Probably should have checked that. Ah, uh, you can. Well, you weren't spawning anything without essence. Ah, uh, well, that's your fault then. It's always my fault. That's right. How do we only have six leather? Because we're not have killing not... we're not killing cows killing. the normal way. We're slaughtering we're them. Slaughtering them. Oh, we're not getting the cow stuff from them. Ninety-one percent done fluid protein. Man, this one's been slow. That's slow. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, um, in between this time and last time, we actually updated the server. Well, that's good to know. So we actually have more quests. What? More quests? Steel Powered steel has power. now hey, turned, into turned into Steel Powered Flight. Where did that go? Where did oh, I you go? got them already? Yeah, I got them. Yeah, oh, I got them. Cool. Oh, Steel Powered Flight? So now we also have a steam turbine we have to make and a uh, RF jetpack. Nice, leadstone jetpack. That's also, cool. you should see also that Steelworks see is that uh, able to be handed in. I handed it in earlier. Oh, cool. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to pick... Oh, I don't know which one of those I want. Do you know what Yellowarium Dust is? That is for the big reactors, which we'll need to do shortly as well. They apparently they give you power. ridiculous amounts of power. That is pretty much what I've heard. Graveyard soil I remember being very easy to make, so I don't think we should waste our time selecting that as a reward. I don't know how hard Yellorium dust is, but I'm going to pick it. Oh, that's just uh, sulfur and um, pulverized tin. Pulverized tin. Oh, I got all the alveary stuff as a reward, by the way. Oh, nice. Yeah. That'll I'll go with all that. the other alveary, alveary stuff, stuff that we got. got. Alright, it also all goes into the um, AE system. Uh, so, hey, I want to do something cool with alchemy, by the way. Do you want to see this? Have you seen the alchemy components of uh, the Snifty mod that we have called Blood Magic? Nope. That's pretty cool. I only know one kind of alchemy. All right, so here's the alchemic chemistry set. Let's see. I'm also going to... Um, stuff in my blood network. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. All right, so check it out. We've got, um, what? Oh, that's right. It only fills it up to 5,000. All right, check it out. Um, this is a potion flask that we got as a quest reward, right? Mm hmm Regeneration. So toss that back to me. Yep. Okay. What you can do is, remember the, um, these catalysts, the greater lengthening and greater power catalyst? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You can use those to upgrade this flask in much the same way that you can upgrade regular potions. You know, like you can have like a potion that lasts longer or a potion that is more powerful but has less duration. Okay. So check it out. I'm putting the potion flask in there. And I'm going to use both of these right now. I mean, we can make more later if we want to. But what I'm going to do is put some sugar in there with that because sugar is the... Uh, or no, not sugar. I don't want sugar. What's the... What's the regeneration one? Let me check that real quick. Uh, let's see. Regeneration is gas tier. That's right. Not sugar. I grab sugar ahead of time. All right. So let me grab some gas tiers. That's what does regeneration. Now I remember. So you, you, and you. There we go. So check this out. See how it's brewing? I uh, see particle effects. Yeah, check out the potion now. Uh, yeah, yeah that didn't work exactly it. what I thought it would do. It went exactly, it went back, exactly to what it was. back to what it was. Yeah, it didn't work. Let's see. Yeah, well, that got regeneration four, so that worked correctly. I don't know why the the the, the lengthening one didn't work. Let me try that to figure out what happened with that.
Uh oh. I want to see if that was a bug. Well, that should have given me a longer duration potion. Let's see. Maybe that is the max duration. All right. So I'm guessing maybe this is the longest duration it can be already. So we probably just wasted that um, reagent, but that's okay. I just tested it again by cheating in the ingredients just because I wanted to see. So now I've got eight swigs of a regeneration four potion that lasts a minute. Nice. Uh, I have a quest ready to hand in. D dire. Oh, really? Which one? The vinegar. Oh, that sounds neat. Let's see. Weak filling agent. That's not too hard to make. I can make more filling agents, too, which is cool. Uh, vinegar, you ready to hand in? Yep, I got an epic bag. Ooh, and I got some stuff for blood magic I think you'll like, too. Oh, really? I want to see. This is Hell's Kitchen, I presume? Yep. Check your inventory. Uh, Master Ritual Stone? And Ritual Stones? Nice. Correct. That's cool. Correct. I'll take that. We have to get this guy upgraded to a Tier 3 altar before we can really do Rituals. I kind of started on that. Um, so we're going to have to see. Well, you're in charge of that because I need to get started on bees. Ooh, the strong box has stuff in it. Ooh, Cinder Pearls, Shimmer Leaf, and Ethereal Bloom. You got the same. Ethereal Blooms are kind of nice. I'm prison. Yes, sir. Ooh, and we did get an epic bag. Look at that. I got a nice reward. 64k fluid storage. That's a nice one. Yeah, not too shabby. All right, so um, I'm going to go throw this in my chest of blood magic-y stuff. Do you want to see how to upgrade the um, the thing here? Sure. All right, let's see. So to upgrade this, we're going to need eight of these rune dudes. So I've already got um, most of what I need. Let me just fill this altar a little bit more. Ooh, that should be hurting. pretty much what I need. Taking a swig of the potion. There we go. Regeneration four. That helps. So, by putting stuff in here, you saw that you craft stuff with it? Yep, I did see that. Also, your also, uh, your, uh, your hopper item duct chest setup kind of makes it look like that's what it should do. Yeah. Nice. I like that regen 4 ability. I'm going to make some... Uh, you can make a refilling agent, by the way, that refills these flasks, and I'm definitely going to be doing that. Come on, dude. Finish up. There we go. Nice. 17 blank slates. So, what I should be able to do now is make myself 8 runes. And we're going to need a lot of blood runes anyway. We had five, it looks like, probably from a quest ward at some point, but now we've got eight more. So I am ready to upgrade our altar for the first time. Just a sec, Just I'll come, sec. Down, and I'll come see it. down and see it. Um, I'm debating if I want to move the altar over closer to the mob spawner. What do you think of that? I was actually thinking that we should use some of that cursed earth. Mm. Cursed earth. And actually, Do we have some of that? Oh yeah, and we have a division have sigil a too. Sigil. Oh, we do. All right, we can do that if you want. Do you want to take care of that? I'm getting my um, bees on. Yeah, I think we can handle that. All right, give me a few minutes to come up with an idea on how and where I want to do it, and then we'll be back. Sounds good. Okay. Oh, Mr. Pahamar, I think I came up with something pretty nifty for our blood altar. You did. Yeah. I just sorted over here because I wanted to kind of test this, but this should work. Check out what I did. I altered the layout of our mob drop thingy. Okay. My concern is, do we still get mob essence? Well, look over here. See how they're dying? Right now, nothing has stopped. Like, it's still doing the uh, exact same thing it did before. 
Alright, so what is this meant to do? Well, the deal is, check this out. First off, can you make me an iron sword real quick? Come, let me show you what I've done, and make me something. Exactly. Well, while you make something, I'm, I'm going to upgrade our altar to tier 2. Well, I've got the something. Cool. Iron sword? Yeah, where'd the wolf go? There's the wolf. There's your sword. There's yep, sword. I'm down here. Uh, hang on a sec. I'll get it upstairs after I do this. Alright, that should have upgraded our altar to tier 2. And that is an affirmative. Cool. And there goes the sword. I've been throwing at you, been throwing at you for, you, like, for you, like, 20 minutes. 20. I know. You're a nice guy. That's cool. So, how does this work? Uh, I need that sword again. It's probably in the AE system. Jeez. Jeez. I know. Needy, right? Next you'll want me to swaddle you. You need to practice. On a grown man? You're like six feet, You're like tall. Six feet tall. So, 3,000 life points. Uh, where'd the sword go? Did you throw it to me yet? Yeah, it's in your inventory. There it is. I guess I just need to refresh. Alright. Uh, check this out. How much do we have in here? We're at 2,000... Almost at 3,000. Let me take a swig of my regen potion, because that's going to make this a little bit faster. So check this out. You ready? Ready. It's kind of hard to see, because the slabs are like right above it. No, I can, um, see, it. No, I can see it. I might move them up one level, but I think this is almost kind of okay, the way it is. So are you trusting in the fact that the slabs are in a solid block? Um, no. It doesn't hurt if they're solid or not. Does it just allow you to see the mob? Um, yeah, mostly. Also, I want to be able to see the altar, because you'll be able to tell when the altar's finished operating. There we go. There see how go. it just poofed, and there now we've go. got a nifty new gadget? What's this gadget? What's this gadget? This gadget, if you kill a mob and it's real close to the blood altar, it'll fill the blood altar with life points, like, without... It'll just kill it and like turn it into life points and fill the altar basically ah. so right now there's 5,000 life points in there but if I do that there is now uh, you know what else I put a lever here so I can turn this off as needed and they do kind of have to be like right on top of the altar so occasionally if they're like further away it doesn't work but now we're at 5,200 life points so that's cool there we go. Now we're at 7,200 life points. So it's working. So that's pretty much what I set up. So that now mobs um, will, they'll kind of like land here and I'll, I'll be able to kill them like this. And they'll get turned into life points. And then when we're not wanting this to run, I just flip the lever and you'll see it'll start killing them again automatically. And we'll get our mob essence. So it's now a dual purpose mob grinder. You like? Looks good. Looks I'm good. also realizing also because good. the AE system's turning away on the call, well, it's almost impossible to make it do anything else. Yeah, it's probably going to take a bit. How's the crafting process going? Um, it is still working on a lot of things. <laughs> it's got a long way to go. <laughs> I mean, if you want to speed it up by doing it manually, you can, but that's just going to take a while, too, I think. It's up I gave to you it a boost. boost. Go. Did you? Yeah, well, I'm you just like for you. manually did a bunch of them. So I'm actually kind of pleased with this setup. I think it works really well. There's only one thing I wish, and it's that the mobs can sometimes like hang out far enough away from the altar that it doesn't really reach with the Dagger of Sacrifice bit. But I guess that's just the price we're going to have to pay. It's pretty good, though. You know, it's not bad at all. So now that we've got this going, I can do all kinds of cool stuff, which I'm going to set up my uh, little inventory and all that stuff again. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Sounds good.
All right. What All you got? Right. I what you got, Mr. Bob think Mark? it's time to get started with some more B quests. Oh, okay. Because I've only been talking uh, about Dino for like four, four episodes. Yeah, you kind of have. Well, you know, we've been busy, and you've been making me do stuff. Yeah, like craft an iron sword. That took a long time. So, in preparation for this, I've expanded out our platform with a bunch of dirt, and the grass is spreading over, so that'll make it a little bit easier for all of our beehives and whatnot. And I made this... Oh, that's uh, over there. Yeah, I made this... It's yeah. right behind You know, you've got like one. a... It looks like there's some snow going over there. Yep, that'll be fine. I think there's some wintry bees we need to do. And yeah. there was an explosion. I saw that's that. That's okay. I saw that. Anyway. These creepers right. don't like me uh, sacrificing them to the blood altar. I've already made I myself can't a scoop. Why, but what's that? <laughs> I can't imagine that either. So yeah, I've already yeah, no, made I a scoop. Like, they're jerks. And now I need to get ready to make a scented artificial hive. So the way that works, according to the quest book, yep. is we need to pipe seed oil from a squeezer into an ex nilo barrel, and then place an artificial hive. Oh. In it. So I got a squeezer down here. Make some seed oil. Some seed oil. Cool. Yes, seed oil. Uh, you you did that for a quest, didn't you? Yep. We actually have some in the uh, liquid storage, but this was really easy to do. Right. So we'll just let that so just let... fill up. Cool. You know, I really need to get these guys more centered on where I want them to be. The trouble is spiders. They're the they're the real hassle. Is spiders. I will like you know what I I think we're we're definitely gonna do cursed earth, but it's gonna have to wait until we get a higher tier altar before we can do cursed earth. You think so? Yeah, I mean, because we can automate this like even better than it is now, but it's gonna require like a tier four altar before we can do it, and a lot of work to get to that point. So, so let me come see your setup real quick while I'm waiting for this crafting to occur. That's nothing Where's the pot special? Terribly... So I'm just waiting okay. for this barrel to get filled up. Yeah, you might need a... Well, I don't know how much this barrel holds, but you might need a few more seeds. It looks like you're halfway done. Yeah, it's just more waiting for the squeezers all. Alright, you want to come back when it's done? Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Okay. So, Mr. Dire All done? Yeah, I decided yeah. to speed it up by putting a second squeezer. We got ourselves a full barrel oh, cool. of seed oil. Nice. And now we got ourselves a scented artificial hive and a quest ready to hand in. Oh, okay. Or That was quick. Or... What did it have two parts? Submit. No, it only hit the one part. Oh, I put the scoop in the AE system. Oh. There that we go. Pot, so I'm going to pick the right bag. I have such a full inventory at the moment. I got a sword of splintering. I'm trying to make this a little bit more efficient um, right now, but I'm not ready to show what I'm doing because it's not working yet. I also got I haven't a, quite figured out a exactly modest princess of pristine stock. A Meadows Princess of Pristine Stock, a Meadows Drone, and a Modest Drone. Okie dokie. So let's see, this is beekeeping? Yep. Yep. Right now, this is lowering the bees. It's lowering the bees, yes. Lowering now we're into yes. cultivating now bees. Right. Cool. Alright, I will put the bees that I found in the uh, AE system. And I got a... Decent reward bag. Uh, let's see. Ooh, it's a potion flask with invisibility in it. So I can run around invisible and harass you. Oh, just loads of fun. It is. Now here's a question. Does invisibility work on mobs? I think it does. I think it does. Cool. Are you planning more shenanigans? Are you planning more shenanigans? Oh. Here's, a, here's a hassle. Half slabs apparently don't prevent items from falling into hoppers. <laughs> Is that what you were hoping? A little bit. So let's see. How can I make these guys not stand where they're standing? Yeah, 
Eh, not really what I want. What I really want them to do is wind up standing right on top of the altar, because that's really where they need to be in order for the stagger or sacrifice to work. They literally need to be like right on top of it. It's kind of annoying. Don't remember them having to be that close. But that's like the best bet. So I don't know. I'll figure it out. All right, guys. I'll be back in a minute. Let me let me play with this a little. So, Mr. Direwolf, I think it's time we finally get to some forestry machines. Oh, forestry machine time. Yep, because to make the next item in the B quest, the apiary, we need carpenters. Yes. Where you at? I am down below where the B stuff is going to be. I'm trying to. Oh, right yeah. over here? Yep, and realizing that I don't have a tesseract, I have a full tesseract frame, so I should go stick that back ah. in the system. Okay, cool. Oh good, my blank slates are done. That's cool. That's definitely going to help us get some more uh, blood runes that we're going to need for... We can probably get a tier 3 altar now, believe it or not. But I still wanted to get a tier 4 before I went with the Cursed Earth thing. Eh, so much to do. Debating for the most efficient way to do it. It annoys me that this Dagger of Sacrifice isn't working so well. I have to ask Way of Time why it's being such a hassle. Oh yeah, these things need water too. Hmm. Carpenters? Yeah. Yeah, they do. You want to come back in a minute when you're ready? No, I just took like five water buckets out of the AE system. That'll do en enough for what yeah, I need right now. Yeah, I have a bunch too. Right Alright, so what are you going to do? You're going to craft the um, apiaries? Yep. Cool. Some of these carpenters will need um, seed oil, by the way. They don't need. They don't always need water. For the apiary, doesn't it need water? For the apiary, yes. But if you want to make like, um, let's see, I believe you'll need honey if you want to make alviaries. And I think you need seed oil for some other deal. Yeah, we need seed oil yeah, for, the, seed impregnated oil for the impregnated casing. Yeah, that's it. That's okay though. I got some of that in the A system too. I need some wood logs. Nice. I just didn't want you to think it was like always water that you need to craft with. Like there's different liquids that go in there. So our blood altar is working out all right. It just it's just so annoying to me that that is being that way. I'm I'm going to figure out a way to make it so that the mobs are more pushed towards the center block where I want them to be. I mean, I could go with the conveyors from extra utility. But the problem is that those spiders get in there, and spiders are being a hassle for me. So, I don't know. We'll see. I really don't want spiders. Who's gay spiders are what? Gay are spiders two by two? Oh, there's a wisp that got out. Uh, a wisp got out? Yeah, I don't know how. Maybe it's my fault, because maybe a wisp can fit through a half slab, is that it? Yeah, I think so. I can take care of him, don't worry. Where'd he go? There he is. That sounds really scary. Just taking care of the wisp, that's all. Don't worry about it. Things that make me worry. When I say not to worry about something? Yep. So you realize we have a long way to go towards Gobblestone, right? Yeah, we're gonna need to let this run for like a week let or two. Run. Yeah, my, I'm wondering if it's going to take longer to craft it than it did to actually, you know, make it. Oh, there we go. Seed oil. Nice. I've got so much mob junk in my inventory. 
All right, this thing is running, right? Yeah. All right, I'm definitely going to have to figure out a better way to handle this. I have an idea or two. There we go. Making an impregnated casing. I think. Cool. I think. What's the progress What's bar? The progress. What's that? Uh, it doesn't seem to be making any progress. You have enough seed oil in there? It only wanted 250. Uh, that does look correct. There's power coming out, right? Yeah, it should be getting power. Oh, there it goes. I see a... Well, your power gen isn't hooked up to anything. Oh. Yeah. Derp. There's your problem. Cool. Yep, impregnated casing. Looking good, buddy. Nice, it'll make a few more for us. So now we can make okay. a new Cool. So, I'm feeling like it's about time to wrap up the episode. Unfortunately. No. Yeah, man, believe it or not. We, we accomplished a lot today. We handed in a bunch of quests and, you know, we got some progress on Blood Magic done. I want to, what I think I'll do is off camera, try and get this upgraded to at least a tier three, if not a tier four altar. And I might move it again. I'm, I'm not liking how well it's working over here. It looked like it was going to work really well, but it's just because mobs aren't, really working unless they're like right on top of it which is just a hassle to me well so what I if know. i well, told you I... that we can handle the next beat quest before we go i guess you could handle that all right so what do we got cultivating bees nice an apiary that'll give you some marshy and some tropical hives tropical hives are good to have by the way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially considering pick, we got uh... that full bee suit from a yeah, while i'm gonna ago. check the uh the left bag i got a fortune three book Nice. I got uh, coconut, peach, olive, apple, and starfruit saplings, which is apparently a useful reward. I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that's a, that, that might be a little bit of a lie. Just oh, you know what else to we make can it do? feel better. I can get the second tier of orb too. I can get a apprentice blood orb. Oh, now I need to make a centrifuge. Hmm. Oh, we could totally do that. I got one more quest before we go. Centrifuge? Really? Oh yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. I'll accept that. Yeah, don't let AE craft it because it's doing cobble. <laughs> Let's go. There we go. Oh, oh, two parter. Nice. Two -parter. Uh, Second half next episode. Second half next episode. Second half next Second episode. Half, next episode. Oh, you have to make a bealizer and a trealizer and a honey drop. Yeah, bealizers and trealizers—they're not hard to make, really. But honey drops, I think, unless we have honeycombs in our AE system from rewards at any time, we're not going to get that. Yeah. Well, I've got the apprentice blood orb. If that helps. Is that a quest? I do not think so. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Can't win them all. Can't oh. win them all. Yeah. Um. I'll do the I'll do the blood alchemy uh potions quest next episode. I think. Sounds like a plan. It's not terribly hard to do, but I'll probably just wait. All right, guys, so for now, I think it's a good wrapping up point. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode of Agrarian Skies. We'll be back next time. I want to continue working with Blood Magic and uh, Thalmcraft to finish up the year of wizard quests, and Pahamara's getting started on bees. It's about time, Pahamara. 
Yeah. Hey, by the way, um, a good thing to remember is that apiaries, when they have bees in them, cause flowers to spawn nearby, and that'll be a good source of roses, which we need for the um, purple. purple quest. Purple. Yeah. Yeah, see, all my quests, oh. quests, all the work I do, I end up uh, doing for you. It's like a love Hey, I help you out too, buddy. Oh, uh, I totally forgot to tell you about this. Come on over here. This is a sne this is a secret for the end of the episode. Oh, okay. I'm getting close to being able to do the, the slime quest, by the way. Oh, well, uh, remember well, that useless yeah. boat? Yeah. We got a boathouse. Cool. Da, 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 da. Is it a house that has a boat in it? It's more like a walled-off area that's got a boat in it. You can sit in it if you want. You can sit in it if you want. How do you get out, then? Hadn't thought of that. Okay. See you next time. Well, you have fun in there, and I am going to walk away now. Woo, I'm out. Oh, I'm out. Okay. Yeah, but it's a okay. orb. Oh, is that a quest? Oh, that Jeez, a... this is the longest wrap-up ever. No. Wrap ever. No, it's not. This is the one that's not a quest. Ah, okay. Uh, well, okay. Well, we'll see you next time, we'll guys. See... All right. Take it easy, everybody.